Hello and welcome to another Beyonce at Home video. Uh, this week we are going to mix it up. Uh, today we have Sydney Toth here with me. She is my brand manager. Uh, absolutely critical piece to the entire Beyonce story, to the entire Beyonce brand. Uh, we're very excited to bring to you some of the new labels today. I know we looked at these uh, over the last two weeks. But today we're going to talk a little bit more about the artwork, what it means, where it comes from, and how it ties into our brand. Very excited. Yeah, so um, as you guys have seen on our website and some of our emails, as a lot of the members have seen in their allocations, um, Viansa looks a little bit different on model today than it did even a few months ago. So we've got a brand new logo, which Chris has talked about in some of the past videos. We've got the V with four lines on one side to represent the four generations of his family in Sonoma. And then we've got the one line on the other side to represent Chris and John um, as the fourth generation of winemakers in Sonoma. So got the new logo. And then we've also got this very colorful artwork surrounding it. Basically what we've done with this new label project is bring in some authentic Italian art um, commissioned for us by Maria Giannini. She is a sixth generation artist out of Florence, Italy. Um, her family shop is called Giulio Giannini e Filio, so Giulio Giannini and Sons. They've been open since uh, the mid 1800s for over 150 years. Um, Maria is now the sixth generation and the first woman in her family to own and operate this shop. So um, cool. Yeah, and to be doing this uh, marbled paper technique. Um, book binding and printmaking, um, but specifically the marble paper technique is what we're looking at and what we wanted to adopt for our bottles. So a little bit about her and her process. Um, how she does this is she is basically creating um, this bath of all natural pigments and a seaweed suspension to lay them on top of. She's combing them using natural brushes, using a porcupine coil to create these different patterns. Um, and then laying a piece of paper on top to kind of capture that image. So, for example, we have mm -hmm. here our uh, Pinot Noir piece that came to us from Maria. So I'm gonna bring this a little closer. Uh, hopefully you can see it. But so basically the process for creating these with her has been that we send her a color palette so you can see the bottle and the original paper next to each other so how that gets translated um, but we send her a color palette idea and then some notes about the wine so for this one we knew that the flavor palette was going to be you know it's going to have tart cherry baked plum some of that like rich wet earthiness um, and a little bit of vanilla from a, a bit of oak aging. Mm -hmm. So that was what inspired the colors. And then you'll see we have a little bit of blue here. So that comes from the fact that our estate Pinot block is right by one of the major ponds on our property. So where you see all those beautiful waterfowl and migratory birds visiting on the Beyonce property. So we felt like this was a really good capture of all that our, our first estate Pinot means to us and, and what you can expect when you open that bottle. And um, so this is, you know, this is how the labels are made. So we repeated this process with our other Altura tier wines and our, our Terra tier wines as well. One of the other reasons that we went with, uh, with an original Italian artist from Florence is to pay homage to part of the brand uh, that mom and dad created, which were the original frescoes inside the tasting room. And if any of you came by Vianza back then, you'll remember they were very, uh, very beautiful and you couldn't miss them from inside the tasting room. So there were these gorgeous scenes of the Italian countryside in Northern Italy, in Tuscany, where my family was from, uh, depicting grape growing and merriment and uh, enjoyment of food and wine. So. This is our updating of kind of the visual representation of the Italian culture and heritage. So just a little bit about one of the others in our Terratier collection. So we've gotten a lot of comments about the rosé. Obviously, you know, this color, the, the kind of like bright blues aren't reflective of necessarily directly the tasting notes. But you know, we wanted to get a little bit creative with this one because rosé is kind of out of the box, right? It's not, it doesn't fit necessarily cleanly in red or white wine. 
Um, it's something that has become really a favorite of a lot of our uh, guests and club members over the past few years. So we wanted to do something fun with it. It's very celebratory of summer and warm weather and this rosé is so good on a hot day, by the pool, by the beach, in a garden, on the lake, you name it. So we wanted to kind of capture that summer, you know, waterside, waterfront feeling um, on this label. So I'll show you the original from that one. And this is actually my screensaver right now, because um, this is my favorite. Um, but yeah, so we've got, you know, this kind of spotty, watery, wave-like pattern going on here. And this was one that, you know, we usually go through a few iterations with Maria where we're going back and forth, describing what we like. She's describing, you know, what colors look best in her natural pigments. Um, but this one was just, you know, first shot and it was perfect. We loved it. Um, she was happy with it. Um, and it was just one that really came together beautifully. So we're really happy with this one. So looking forward this summer, we have a bunch of new wines going in the bottle. Super excited about the new designs and uh, sharing with you the new wines and salts. We have uh, another vintage of the Estate Sangiovese. We have Sonoma Mountain Cabernet. We have Sonoma County Pinot um, and a whole handful of other wines that are going to be in new labels, um, including our first ever Estate Chardonnay which we have the artwork for right here. Yeah, so this one, since it's one of our upcoming bottlings, uh, we want to share a little sneak peek with you all before you see the, the new release. So this is, will be our new Estate Chardonnay. So we've got, you know, we've got these oranges, greens, and yellows to represent the kind of bright citrusy characteristics. You're gonna notice a lot of lemon zest, um, fresh baked lemon tart, um, a little bit of orange zest sweetness, and then some creamy, buttery, full body richness um, from this Chardonnay. So we're really excited to put this on the bottle and share it with all of you. This project has been so fun to work on. Um, it's been an honor to work with Maria and work on, you know, translating this family story uh, with Chris and John um, onto this new bottle. So I hope that you all are enjoying these at home. And if you haven't yet, um, we've got our new releases all bundled up on our website uh, where you can try either all the reds or all the whites you can combine them. Um, but yeah, we hope that you guys are all enjoying the new releases and look forward for more to come. Absolutely. And keep your eyes out. There'll be more communication about the new wines. Um, if you're a club member, uh, our shipment will be going out here very soon. You'll see a digital club insert this round that has everything about the wines and the new story and the new labels all in an email format. We're trying to save a little bit of uh, environmental waste there. So yeah, lots of exciting things to come. Thank you again very much for joining us. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Yeah, thank you.